Welcome to Voice TV in Nigeria. My name is Afolabi Waha, your host. National Assembly have turned into Buha. A lot of secrets have been exposed. But this secret have been exposed by the former president, Olusegun Obasujo. That called I National Assembly. I have, I have the floor. He said National Assembly Kabar of today is worse than any Kabar can ever talk about. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo said, National Assembly is a den of an armed robbers without a gun. But this Lingiaf, Senator Ling, have exposed what Obasanjo have said before now. Let's listen to this. It's like a turn of our dating in public, man. To all the People get pardon must not go unpunished. It is a reality which is a regular and systemic practice. Nobody should pull wool over the eyes of Nigerians. Ganging up to intimidate this and threaten the life of whistleblower is deplorable and undemocratic. What of the so-called constituency projects, which is a veritable source of corruption? These constituency projects are spread over the budget for members of the National Assembly, for which they are the initiator and the contractor directly or by proxy, and money will be fully drawn with the project only partially executed or not executed at all. The, the National Assembly cabal of today is worse than any cabal that anybody may find anywhere in our national governance system. Members of the National Assembly pay themselves allowances for staff and offices they do not have or maintain. Once you are a member, you are co-opted, and your mouth is stuffed with rottenness and corruption that you cannot opt out as you go home with not less than 15 million naira a month for a senator and 10 million naira a month for a member of House of Representatives. The National Assembly is a den of corruption by a gang of unarmed robbers. All of us are called people. Some senators here, so-called senior senators, got 500 million each. I am a ranking senator, I didn't get. Did I go to the press? I didn't get. Most of you got. And yes, if we want to go into those issues, excuse me, if we want to go into those issues, yes. So I think that, I think that, I think that Senator Ningi, Senator Ningi, perusing through the budget, first, we discover sabungos anomalies of repetition. We discovered some senatorial districts in this particular document, some senatorial districts have up to 120 billion. And my senatorial district has just 2 billion. Mr. President, yes. Mr. President, in this budget, in this budget, diary presented to you. Uh, you are not giving, you are not, you are not recognized, you sit down, you are not recognized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. President, I haven't finished. I, I, I want, I also have a point of order raised by Senate leader. 
uh, the same way Senator Alero will give you respect, not just as a ranking senator, but as an elder statesman. So if you stopped talking while you have the floor, and then you allow Senator Ningi to jump up and start shouting, that is not the behavior of the Senate. This place is not, this is not, this is not a rice television or BBC house of service. So I would like a situation where you speak, if Senator Ningi wants to say something, I will grant him the opportunity. And he will say something, but we must, we must conduct ourselves with decorum and respect for one another, and particularly respect for this institution. So if you are true, and any other person wants to talk, the person who raise his hand, I will recognize you. I'm not finished, I have the floor. I, I have the floor. Mr. President, sitting as chair, I still have the floor. When they give you floor, correct? Wahala, now you see the Wahala. No, no, no. Point what I, point up what I. Of the translation read out by Senator Yai, I think they have done a fair job, except on some issues that they could not understand. First, I have never said somebody was blinded. Secondly, I have never said the budget was padded. Mr. Chairman, the beginning of this brahaha started with this text, and by your leave, I will read. For the first time in Nigerian history today, we are operating two different budgets. One budget approved by the National Assembly, signed by President Bola Tinubu, and one signed and one implemented by the presidency. The one approved by us is 25 trillion, while the one operated, operating by the government is 20 trillion. Apparently, we discovered 3 trillion was inserted into the budget without location. Uh, this is the highest budget pardon happening in Nigeria. History under Senator Apabio taking place under the watchful eyes of Senator Fabio. We resolve as people representing to see Bola Metunubu on this issue with facts and figures to ask him if he's aware with this embarrassment or not. Then from there, we will take action. We will take action. Let Nigerians be patient with us. This is a national issue. This, it affects Nigeria, irrespective of party, tribe, or religion. And Senator Abdul Lingi, Chairman Northern Senators Forum, is purported to be the author of this document, of this. Let me, for the avoidance of doubt, I have never issued out a statement of this nature to anybody, anywhere, and any time. And I want members of this Senate to record it. This is a fake, this is a fake contribution that was forwarded, that was forwarded. I do not know the author of this, Having listened to the version, the House of Virgin read out by Senator Yai, have you discovered any of this proposition? Yes, yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. You have discovered, you have discovered one issue that pertains to the budget. And that is the issue of 28 trillion versus 25 trillion. I have said that. And I said, if you are listening to him clearly, that we had passed a budget of 28 trillion, and we have discovered location. That's what I said. Please, please. Can you listen to me? That's what you said, yeah.
And I said, in between the 28 point something trillion and the 25 trillion, we have discovered that there is no nexus. There is no nexus. Nexus means there is no amount of money to a location. There is no amount of money to a location. And I said, work is in progress. Mr. Chairman, you recalled last Tuesday, myself and Kau saw you up there and that we wanted to have an audience with you. And you gave us the grace to see you wanted Wednesday, you said, no Thursday. And we met. The National Assembly, the Northern Senators Forum met on a Tuesday with a copy of our findings, which is here before us. And the only person who has a copy is myself. When we met as a forum, nobody, no one has seen what is in these copies. What we did, we read out what was discovered and what we felt was disturbing. Subsequently, therefore, we made a visit to your place. Even as we visited your place, we gave you a summary of what you think happened. And we told you we are almost 80% completion. I try to run to you, I try to run down some of the figures to you. And you listen attentively. At the end of the proceedings, you also said, part of the problem we have is the way the budget was brought and there was no time for the full rigors of budgetary provision. We said we can understand that. However, I told you, Mr. President, that these two copies with me, we have about 21 additional copies that will make, make it to you. And I told Bino Seru and Kau that on a Monday, the leadership of the forum will take the complete copies of this, our findings to you. On a Friday, Mr. President, On the Friday, Mr. President, my attention was called to this particular forward submission. And we chatted, myself, Senator Dab, Senator Karimi, Senator Medoki, and they showed their anger about this particular statement. And I said, listen to the House of Virgin. In the House of Virgin, did you hear me mention a Padio's name? Did you hear me mention Padin? Even the one that was read out, there was no. So I quickly, I went to Sokota and quickly came back to Abuja. As I was arriving in Abuja, here you are, here you have a presidential spokesman response. Not on the interview I granted, but on this particular version that I said the president is implementing budget. That I said the president does not like the North. That I said the president does not care about the North. And therefore, because of the filthy nature that the national media took it, 
I rushed to this assembly and countered with documentary evidence what was said here and what I said. Mr. President, if you had listened, all your agents have listened to the Arise interview and the Correspondence Chapel interview, I said categorically, the President's powers stopped as a proposal, as he proposed the budget. And I said, there is no way the National Assembly will add anything on the budget and it becomes fudging. The tapes are there. I said the National Assemblies have powers. And you cannot call that powers padding. And I said I'm very grateful to the presidential spokesman who encountered me said the National Assembly added 1.27 trillion. And I was very clear. I was not aware of the addition. I was not even aware as I'm seated here of the full budget of the National Assembly. Mr. President, please, 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 can you allow me to? Mr. President, perusing through the budget, first, we discover sabungos anomalies of repetition, we discovered some senatorial districts in this particular document, some senatorial districts have up to 120 billion, and my senatorial district has just 2 billion. Mr. President, yes. Mr. President, in this budget, in this budget, diary presented to you, I have facts, constituency by constituency. Some, 120 billion. Some, 50 billion. Some, 30 billion. Mr. President, some have less than one billion. Mr. President, as I speak to you, I, Mr. President, as I speak to you, I do not know your take home pay. You know my own. I do not know the take home pays of any of the principal officers. Mr. President, as I speak, I know within the budgetary provisions you made available funds for purchase of cars. Mr. President, I don't know how much, how much you are spent on your cars and the other principal officers. I know how much was spent on individuals, senators' cars. And as I speak to you here, standing, People are calling me names. I do not receive a single car. All within, all within the budget provisions, Mr. Chairman. All within the budget provisions. I have, I have, I have, as a matter of fact, I have five eggs, just like Every member of the House of Representatives has five. Mr. President, I do not know the number of your eggs. I do not know the number of the eggs of the Deputy Senate President. You allow me to speculate. And therefore, everything, everything that is in the budget is my concern. Finally, 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 Mr. President, finally, 
Mr. President, finally. Mr. President, finally. In the course of... In the When the chairman of appropriations spoke, it was as clear as crystals that there was a misunderstanding of the figures. When he came up with the GOEs and all the agencies on first line charge, there is no difference between the figure he reeled out and the figure purported to be padded. I thought with that, that matter would have been rested by Senator Ningi, saying that this three point something billion, trillion. Uh, trillion was not part of the budgetary provisions printed out for us. That would have settled this matter. We are going forth and back on these issues and coming up with issues of the budget and individual uh, issues concerning what came to our various constituencies. If we want to go to, into those issues, all of us are called people. Some senators here, so-called senior senators, got 500 million each. I am a ranking senator, I didn't get. Did I go to the press? I didn't get. Most of you got. And yes. If we want to go into those issues, excuse me, if we want to go into those issues, yes. So I think that, I think that, I think that Senator Ningi, Senator Ningi,